Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. Today we're going to take a look at how you can print and save your flip chart. So once you've created your flip chart, you can flip between the pages and see what you have on your flip chart. You can also see them over here in your page browser. There's two different places that you can go to save your flip chart. The first is in this main menu right here and you're going to click on File, Save. The other place is the file menu across the top, and you can hit File, Save. It's up to you where you choose to save your flip charts to. There is a section called My Flip Charts um, inside your document. So if you go to your resources, there's a folder in here called My Flip Charts. So if you save them to that folder, they'll be available right inside your resource library. Otherwise, when you want to open a new one, you click on File, Open or Open Recent, and it'll let you search for the flip charts that you've made. The second thing you may want to do with your flip chart is to print it. When you choose print, you'll have the settings included from your printer. You can print um, a certain number of pages or a certain number of copies, and how many rows or columns there are on the page. One row and one column means one page per page. So let's take a look at my print preview if I have two rows and two columns. So this is going to look more like you'd see in a PowerPoint or Keynote presentation where you would print out the slides or the handouts. And as you add more columns and more rows, your slide images obviously get smaller. But you can set this up so that you could have six on a page or eight on a page as well. The other thing you can do is export to a PDF. And a PDF is a portable document format that you can share with um, people who are using all different types of operating systems. So if I hit export to PDF, I can now decide where I want to save this. And I'll show you what that PDF looks like. You're going to lose the interactivity that you would see in your flip chart. In the PDF, it's just going to be one layer so there's my PDF. This also has the same number of pages that I just did in my print preview. With this type of document format, you could share with anyone and they could look at this even if they didn't have Active Inspire in their computer. I hope you've enjoyed today's Active Tip. Check out more information on our website, springboardmedia.com slash Promethean.